Good morning. Today is Thursday. No, I think it's Friday. Today is Friday, July the 9th. And uh, we got out this morning and got a little bit later start, but we still have been able to see some beautiful sights. We stopped at a place called Shrebar's Landing and Beaver Pond. And um, the picture that you're seeing behind me is just how beautiful it is with the mountains reflecting there in the water. Okay, since I'm making this video blog, I didn't want you to miss out on any of our great adventures. We stopped along in a picnic area and grilled some food and uh, are just having a nice little picnic here while we sit here um, and look at the mountain. Isn't that an incredible view? Bet you wish you were having a picnic lunch with us. Good morning. Today is Saturday, uh, July the 10th, and uh, this is our last uh, day in the park. So we got up uh, kind of early um, so we could go on a little hike um, around Jenny Lake and up to Hidden Falls and um, also to beat the crazy crowds that we saw here yesterday because we were going to do this yesterday, but so crazy you couldn't even find a parking spot. So anyway, so far we you know have the trail fairly um, pretty much to ourselves. It's nice and peaceful and quiet and really pretty. This is the view that we've got as we're hiking. It's just beautiful. Some of the wildlife we're seeing as we walk. All right, now we're at a part of the hike that just goes right along the shoreline. This is the shoreline of Jenny Lake. We're about to the opposite side from where we started. So the Teton Mountains um, were formed by earthquakes, and we're at a section of it now where the rock is definitely different than where we started out there when we were right by the shore of the lake. Um, all the rock is real jagged and pointy and stuff like that, and the mountains just appear to just kind of go straight up. Okay, we made it up to the Hidden Falls area, and then we're going to hike around so we can get a better view. Wow, listen to the glowing water. Wow, this is Hidden Falls. Um, water is really loud. The temperature changed as soon as we walked through this little area here because of all the water. I'm feeling water coming off of me. Or off, off of the falls onto me. Um, it's gorgeous. Alright, so after we saw the waterfall, we're heading back down to the boat. And uh, something interesting that we noted as we were going down is if you look behind me, there's a fence. It looks like they had to fence this mountain in just to keep it from getting away. Hopefully you can tell by this the, just how pretty that water is coming down from the waterfall. It's just beautiful. Just thought you'd want to see another really pretty shot as, our, as we're walking back down. Um, the nice thing about this hike is that we actually started on the hike down at um, the visitor center, we went around the lake and then we went up to the waterfall. But people can ride the boat across the lake and then um, hike just like a half mile or something. We took the two mile hike and now we're going to go back on the boat across because I want to ride the boat across the lake. There's the little boat coming in so I can get on it and go back to the other side.
It's a bull moose, and then you can see a pronghorn in the background. Staring at the pronghorn. It's incredible. Uh, we haven't gotten to see very many, or we haven't seen any bull moose ever.